On screen is a list of all items covered in this video and the requirements needed to do them. Any items handed to the player during this story will not be included. For the sake of clarification, the area covered in this video is highlighted on screen now. Okay, so since Mount Coronet has so many entrances, it's kind of hard to decide where to start from. We're actually going to start from the Orberg city side, so fly on over to Orberg and make your way north into Route 207. Go up the mudslide via mock bike and enter Mount Coronet from this side over here. First thing we're going to do is go down and at the fork in the road go down this staircase uh, to surf across this pond which will lead us to a Dawnstone. Once you grab that Dawnstone go ahead and surf back over to the left but where that fork in the road was this time we're actually going to go straight up so go down the stairs then up the stairs and on this boulder you'll find a hidden ether. Now we're going to go down the stairs and go towards the entrance of Mount Coronet over here so go all the way up over here and you'll find this pond that you can surf across and you'll find this item it's a protein sitting up on this ledge you probably already got it because it's so in your face and you have to mandatorily go here through your story so either way come over here go down the stairs and try to squeeze in between here without jumping off the ledge like that <laughs> thanks bdsp for having the best hitboxes ever go ahead and squeeze through rock climb up and go up the stairs into the second floor from the second floor, we're going to go ahead and go on this little elevated area to pick up this max potion. Before we go down the stairs to continue onward, let's grab this hidden uh, ether off this rock over here. Once you grab this ether, go down the stairs and squeeze through this path. Uh, this would have a strength boulder in platinum, but it does not here in BDSP and diamond and pearl. So you can get all the way down to that escape rope with no problem. And you can go all the way up across the bridge, down the stairs down this skinny path over here to pick up the TM for Rock Slide, one of my favorite rock type moves. From there, go up and go under the bridge this time to grab a revive, I believe it's over here. Once you grab that revive, we can continue onward to the right. So go up the stairs, cross the bridge, go down the stairs, go under the bridge. And this will lead you to an area, uh, a gate that would be blocked off if you have not done the climactic part with uh, Team Galactic at the uh, Veilstone headquarters. So you go through the door and go up the stairs, then down the stairs. This will lead you to a dead end with a rock at the very end with a max revive on it. Once you grab the max revive, go ahead and go back up the staircase and continue onward, this time up. There's one item left over here in this room and it is a super repel. And once we go through this door over here, we're going to be at the summit of Mount Coronet. This is where it gets snowy and a little confusing. So we're going to stick to the right, follow the grass path. And in this grass patch over here, you'll find a hidden full heal. Once you get the full heal, come over to the end to where you can rock climb up. Go to the right over here in this room. This is the fourth floor. There are a, There's an east and a west entrance. This is um, the east side and you won't be able to go to the west side without going back out to the summit so grab that ultra ball then rock smash through this to pick up a hidden pv up on the boulder next to it and then rock smash through this to pick up uh what i think is a tiny mushroom yes from there we're going to go to this water over here that you can surf on and then use waterfall to go up you'll find this small little dead end room above this waterfall as you can see in the neighboring area over here there's a bunch of part of this cave we haven't been to yet don't worry about it we'll be there in just a moment you can go inside this little dead end room to pick up a stone plate which is a pretty fitting spot i think once you grab the stone plate let's go ahead and surf again and go down the waterfall all the way over to the right because we're done with the east side of this room so far we're gonna go out the exit over here and continue onward to this rock climbable section where we can go up. There's only one item up here. It's on this boulder over here. And of course, it's a nugget. A lot of uh, treasure items here. A lot of nuggets, uh, stardust, uh, big mushrooms, that kind of stuff. From there, go to the left, go through this uh, patch of grass. You'll see this area where you can rock smash this boulder. Go ahead and do that and talk to this rock over here. You'll find a hidden max potion. All right, now we're going to go through the grass and go through this cave entrance over here. This is going to take us to that west side of that very same room that we were in earlier. You can rock climb straight up and rock smash through this rock. And on this boulder, you'll find a hidden revive. As you can see, you probably already figured out, this is the area we were in before, this time in the other section. You can grab this ether over here on this hidden rock and then grab this hidden escape rope on this rock. And then we're good to go. We don't need to come back to this room anymore. You can squeeze over here to the right and leave back to the summit. First thing we're going to do is rock smash the lower rock over here to find a stardust in the wall. 
And then we're going to go to the right in this skinny path over here. You'll find a boulder just above a rock climb area with a rare candy on it. I think that's a moonstone in platinum. I can't quite remember. And then you're going to rock climb down into this pit. We're going to come back here later. As you can see, there's a cave entrance. But we're not going to do that quite yet. There's something we need to do before then. So let's go up to the left. And you'll find a hidden tiny mushroom on this rock over here. And let's go north down uh, to descend the mountain a little bit over here. And at the end of this path, you'll find a hidden big mushroom on this rock. There are three items left um, on this side of the mountain. And then we're going to go into this cave over here. It's a straightforward path. You can't really deviate much. Let's just grab a rock, uh, grab a tiny mushroom on this rock over here and continue onward deeper in up the stairs and there are two items in this room over here the first one is going to be on this boulder in the lower right hand corner that's a max potion continue up the stairs for the final item in this room it is a bag of stardust all right now we're going to make our way all the way back to that pit you probably don't remember where it is but let's just continue onward i'll show you where let's go down the stairs and go through the entrance or exit or whatever it's all perspective and then we're going to be here in the mount coronet summit again we continue all the way over to the right where you can see this area where you rock climb this is the pit we were in earlier this time we're going to go in the cave this room in particular is like a giant toilet bowl flush spiral sort of thing so we're going to rock climb down and grab uh, a, we're actually going to come over here first rock smash this to grab this max ether and there's another item over here on this rock that's just above us um, it is a big mushroom i believe yes once we do that, then there's, we got a lot of running to do in front of us. So we're just going to run around this giant spiral toilet bowl like I told you. Just keep going down towards the base of the room. It is very large um, and not a lot of stuff you could do. First thing we're going to do over here is rock smash to this in the upper left hand corner. You'll find a hidden full restore wedged into the wall over here and also wedged in the wall just below it is a nugget over here. Grab the nugget over here and continue down to rock climb downward. There are two items left in this room. The first one is right over here. You can rock smash through this boulder. And then we're going to rock smash through another boulder. And just behind that, you're going to find a hidden rare candy. A lot of rare candies in here as well. I think there's four. It's a pretty good amount. Go ahead and rock smash to this one. And there's one item left. It's right there on the boulder next to us up here. We're going to grab this revive and book it let's get out of here let's go up 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 this room that we're going to next is actually the room with celestic town and uh eterna city connect but this area is blocked off if you come from either of those two sides so we're gonna grab this tm for dragon claw it's tucked deep away into mount coronet and then just above it on the rock is a hyper potion Go up and push this strength boulder up out of the way. Again, that's the boulder that is blocking the path. You cannot go downward from the, from this area without coming from below. So push this boulder over to the left. We're going to smash this rock. And on this boulder over here, we're going to grab this hidden elixir. Then we're going to use strength to push this boulder up a few more times to get the TM for rock polish, which is fine, I guess, once you grab that. Uh, there is a revive just below this ledge, so hop over this ledge, go interact with this rock, you'll find a revive right here. Now we're going to continue onward to the right, squeeze through over here to the Celestic side, and in between these two boulders you'll see an escape rope. Great. Grab the escape rope, come over here to this small rock over here, you'll find a tiny mushroom. Okay. From there we're going to go up a little bit and push this strength boulder out of the way several times just to get it out. And then we're going to rock smash over to the left a couple times. This video is very long. I'm aware of that. It was 18 minutes long raw uh, before editing. And now I've wedged it down to about like 12 or something. Anyways, at the end of that path, you can get a rare candy. And just before we go deeper into the cave, into the second to last room, you can grab this tiny mushroom over here. Okay, so this, la this next room over here has fog. You can clear it up with the help of defog from your poke etch. And once you do that, you can come over here to Rock Smash through here to grab some Stardust. Once you grab the Stardust, we're not done with that section yet. Just go in there, and then below it is a nugget. Some good money just sitting there. Who left that there? Anyways, go up. And you want to pass this first set of stairs. Let's go, go down the second one first. Rock Smash that. Uh, and then strength this boulder out of the way. This is going to take us to some soft sand, which is an item that powers up ground type moves. Then we're going to go down and back to that staircase that we passed last time. So come on over here, go straight up all the way to the very end. You'll find a rock in the corner that you can smash right through and find a hidden 
PP up wedged into the wall right there, just like that. We're almost done, guys. We can go ahead and go down and surf into the pond towards the right. You'll find a small island in the middle of the water that has a, what's the item here? Light clay, I think. Pick up this item. It is a light clay. Yes. Grab the light clay. We're going to head surf back over. This time, we're going to go up to the very top. You'll see this small, skinny strip of land. And at the very end over here is the... Uh, max elixir once you grab this max elixir you can come back over to the left rock smash through this boulder we're gonna pass a couple items because we're gonna get them all on the way out and sort of a uh i don't know bonanza i guess on the way out <laughs> whatever let's just rock smash through these rocks that are here simply for busy work because uh that's they provide no puzzle or insight or anything like that grab that full restore at the very end of the path continue onward to the left here we go bonanza we got a full restore push this boulder out of the way bam we got to revive continue down the east staircase over here ready we're in bonanza mode ultra ball oh man it won't stop come on over here to the staircase and just before we leave bam rare candy and then we're gonna go up the staircase to the final room for the final item which is at the very end in between the two boulders wedged into the wall bam hp up that's every single item here in Mount Coronet in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you next time. Techno's out.